Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from RoboJax. In this video, we are going to see how we can control DC motor with the speed and direction using L293D a motor driver. You can get the code for this project and all other projects of RoboJax by visiting robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. The link is provided at the description below. In this video, we are going to see how we can control the speed of this motor and also the direction. As you can see, we will be able to change the direction, speed it up, slow it down using the cell 293D uh, chip. And the D at the end means a diode, so it doesn't need the quasient current suppression diode that is needed for inductive loads such as motors, so this doesn't need a diode. And uh, I'm also going to show you the pulse modulation on the oscilloscope so you will learn and see how pulse modulation value from Arduino changing the speed and how the waveform looks like on the oscilloscope. We are going to use this L293D uh, motor driver. This is a quadruple. For this demonstration I'm using L293D quadruple half H uh, motor driver. This can control up to four DC motors if you just want to turn them on and off. If you want to control a motor and if you want to use a full bridge because it has four half bridge, so if it has two full bridge, one full bridge on this side with these pins and one full bridge on this side. What it means is in this side you can con connect a motor and you will be able also to change the direction of the motor and the same way in here. So this can control two motor fully with a change in direction. Speed of motor also will be controlled in this video. I will show you how to control the speed of motor. The motor that I'm using is this uh, motor here. Here is a model number and because it draws less than 600 milliampere which is the maximum capability of this a motor driver I'm using this one if you overload this or if you draw more current continuously this will burn here is a data sheet for this L293D if you have L293 that will be able to, uh, to handle up to 1 ampere but L293D is uh, able to handle up to 600 milliampere the voltage that this chip can handle is 4.5 to 36 volts so you can use any motor between these voltages and the peak current for both of these L293 and L293D is such that for L293D uh, if the current goes 1.2 ampere momentarily it can handle it as a peak but if for L92 L9 uh, for L293 it will be 2 ampere if you're using L293 then you need to have diode suppression but if you're using L293D you don't need the diodes because they are included all. and here we have the four portion of the driver so uh, pin 2 and pin 7 these are input so two of these will be used for a motor to be controlled if you want the motor to rotate in both directions if you want to rotate it only in one direction one piece is enough because you can control it from pin 2 and pin 3 will be to the positive of the motor and negative of the motor will be to the ground but if you want the motor to rotate in both direction then the negative and positive will be connected to 6 and 3 for one motor and 11 and 14 for the other motor and here are the the pins so this goes to 5 volts for VCC1 and then pin 8 goes to the power supply that you connect for the motor because you will not connect your motor directly to Arduino it needs separate extra power supply because Arduino will not be able to handle for the motor. See pin 4 and pin 5, 13 and 12 are ground and if you're using heatsink or maybe on the PCB if you have extra space it can be used as a heatsink as well. And here is the maximum current minimum minus 600 that's if it goes in the other direction and maximum is 600. I will provide this data sheet in case if you need further information. Let me explain the wiring. This is the L293D or 293, they are the same layout. And here is the data sheet. The pin 16 goes to VCC1. This goes to 5 volts. So this 
is connected to 5 volts and I have here on this side the red one is 5 volts and this is the ground the this yellow is will be connected to five uh, to ground of Arduino the green will be connected to the 5 volts of Arduino and then we have pin 8 will be connected to VCC2 here this VCC2 is the motor voltage the power for the motor so pin 8 will be connected here and I will be connecting this pin 8 now pin 4 and 5 are connected to the ground pin 4 and 5 are connected both of them to the ground and I've connected pin 4 to pin 5 using this wire these two are connected and also from here it's connected to the ground and here pin 3 will come uh, to the motor and uh, pin 6 also will come to the motor we don't have polarity for the motor this is DC motor but the polarity will change accordingly so doesn't matter which wire you connect these four diodes are here when you connect it to L293 for the L293D we don't need these diodes and here are the two wires for the motor I'll be connecting it to pin 3 and to pin 6 uh, pin 1 is uh, for the enabling of the motor if you want to run the motor this must be connected to 5 volts or it must go high so pin 1 is here this is connected to pin 9 in Arduino and pin 10 and 11 or uh, pin 10 will be connected to 2 and 11 will be connected to 7 it is connected to pin 2 here and this is connected to pin 7 if you are using L293 you will need these diodes for L293D you do not need it let me explain the code we are defining the uh, 1A and 2A pin that's pin 1A pin 2A as uh, pin 10 and pin 11 are du on Arduino pin 9 is for the enable 1 and 2 here and the 15 is the speed step every time it increases as you can see here this is now 15 and there's 1000 is one second between each step if you want your motor to, to go faster just change this if you want to uh, go your motor more smoother change this to smaller if you make it bigger it jumps very quick from one speed to the other speed so you can play with these numbers maybe reduce this and reduce this it will be very smooth and inside the setup we are just setting up 9600 baud for this value so this can be displayed on the screen otherwise you will not be able to read it uh, th these are assigning pin 1a pin 2a and enable 1 and 2 as an output and this is just a text inside the loop uh, we have this for loop which is sta starts with a speed 0 and a speed is smaller or equal to 155 and then this means speed plus equal speed step speed step is the value that we set here and here it means that increment by the step which means get the speed initially 0 and then add 15 and the for loop goes and it becomes 15 30 as you can see here it becomes 45 so the value of speed is changing what you see here and here we say L293D this is a function which is below I've written that as well and then we pass L which means uh, to CW or right left and then here the speed we are passing the value and one mean enable if you want the motor to stop just make the zero and the delay is the speed st delay that you set here so uh, between this value and this value between each value it waits for that amount of time which is now one second this function receives three value direction speed enable and here the character that we receive we will be stored at dir direction speed will be stored at spd and enable will be stored in a variable called en and then we check the dir if it's the direction is equal equal this is for comparison purpose is equal l pay attention to the single code 
and then we if that's the case then from here to here this code will all run and we check if enable is equal to zero we say motor stopped otherwise we say motor is rotating ccw and then we also we print the speed in here we don't put new line so this value is beside it displays and then we set digital enable enable because if it's one the motor will rotate if it's zero motor will stop and here this is the pin that receives the direction here we use analog right and then the speed the value this is now those values and then we set the other pin low otherwise these are the text that is on the screen and here pay attention p1a was the speed p12 p2a was low now P p1a is low and p2a is now speed so before it was low now we put the speed and before the other one was speed now it's low i just changed the uh, value that we are sending and the motor will rotate the other way So here is a demonstration, uh, the motor is connected, I've connected external power supply of 9 volts connected to this motor and Arduino is also powered up. He here are the values, the pulse. these are the pulse weight modulation which will go from 0 to 255. As the number increases, the speed of the motor also increases, so you can see it here. This also shows the amount of uh, pulse weight modulation with this. LED. When the direction of the motor changes, the light will be red. To change the direction of the motor, change this R to L and the motor will rotate the other way. And the red light shows that it's rotating uh, clockwise and here are the values. If you set this value to zero, the motor will stop moving. Now the motor is stopped and it will not move. Now I'm connecting my oscilloscope, one pin to the pin tree here and the other pin to the ground. And here for those of you who are interested in pulse weight modulation, these are the values that you can see here. As you can see, as the speed of the motor increases, that width, the top is increasing. So this has become small and that becomes bigger. So now it's, now it's very uh, small. So as, it, as the width increases, that's called pulse width modulation. As it increases, the amount of energy to the motor is increasing, the average voltage increases and the motor speeds up until it becomes full and then shuts down. And here as you can see when it's zero and then it becomes 15, 45 and as the value, this value increases, that width at the top is increasing. You see, 195, 200 and it becomes 